Hey friends, Ryan it here today. We're doing another another video on this endless pinball machine construction. I'm in the mail. I got this wire organizing strip. They're two for they're six feet long. Uh, I was twenty-five or something dollars, but I figured that would be good to run down either side. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to move the little jack stand for the monitor over just a couple inches so those will fit. But you know, it's all right. And I got some HDMI cables. I got some outlet grills for the fans so no little fingers get in there. I got a couple little uh, display port to HDMI cables. Hopefully they go both ways. Um, I got another Oak Micros fuse board here. Because I'm not sure that the one on here is going to have enough. So that's good. Uh, and this stuff I had, just some cable straps, little connectors. I don't know if I'll use those. Fuses for uh, a couple things that probably won't go in these. I already had this cable for the power supply. There's another one. And I already had this upstairs just sitting around. I think I'm going to use it for the 5 and 12 volt to power the pinscape board and keep that one kind of the clean power steady and then use the other ATX one that's in this box to power the devices and then I got a 24 volt and there's 48 volt somewhere that I may or may not actually use. We'll see. I want the knocker to really pop though. Um, so today we're going to just work on staging some stuff, putting it in, drilling some holes. Oh, I also got these cords for the power supplies. So yeah, just general stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to run today because I ordered two USB cords for a couple things here and they have not come in yet, which is a bummer. It's the little things that you keep forgetting <laughs> that just take forever. So let's get rolling, see how far we get. All right, looks like nothing changed, right? Anyway, we moved these over, mounted the cable uh, guides, drilled this hole for this, mounted this fan. This one's sucking in, and those two are blowing out. Uh, so yeah, we mounted those too. It may be unnecessary, but I would like to have the airflow. Oh, and I mounted the giant subwoofer. That is scary and a lot easier to do if it were on upside down. And then we put the, uh, we drilled this hole and mounted a fan in the back box. This is blowing out and those will just let the air in. So we put this piano hinge on here and this little clasp. A little sticky, but so that'll open up so you can get back in there and access everything. Make a bunch of noise when it's shaking. All right, let's see what else we can get done. All right, so we put in some buttons. See, for our start, we have an engage, our extra ball button, and our exit button says pinball sucks. Let's straighten that a little bit. We'll do that later. And I got the flipper and magnet save buttons in. It's a little tricky. Um, the actual holes drilled in this little kit that I got are one and sixteenth inch. Where they, and then I had to drill it out to one and an eighth inch to get the buttons to fit, which is what they're supposed to be. So I don't know if that was an oops or bad calibration or what, but she see had a little whoopsie, but got her in there. These are my RGB LEDs. They're bolted, and then I had to get a little spacer here. The damn half inch wasn't long, wasn't thick enough, and the three quarter inch was too thick, so I had to route out a little bit, but 
They work good now. Switches may need a little adjusting. This one feels nice and tight, but this is a little loose. I got a tool somewhere, but. All right, and then we put in this service buttons. I put it there because I didn't have any bolts to affix it to this deal, to the coin door, unfortunately. And I put in a coin door switch. there because my cords aren't here yet and I need some fuses before I can really wire anything up. So we made some good progress. We'll get, oh, I got the launch ball button. I guess I didn't say that either. It's kind of awkward because it's in there. I may have to build a plate or something for it, but it works and it's reasonably stuck in there. So, anyway, till next time, uh, keep it real, wish me luck, later.